You've got a tool, I think it's doubly fuzz. Can you explain what fuzzing is and you know why do we care and what this tool's about? Yeah, uh, so I, I wanted to present another free tool because uh, Burp Suite Community Edition does throttle their intruder requests. So you get about you know, maybe a hundred good requests before it starts slowing down. WFuzz performs fuzzing, which is sending over input to an application. And WFuzz does it really quickly. And so you can uh, take a request anywhere in that request you want, you can add uh, essentially like uh, an attack designation. And with that, you I think it's just uh, fuzz, all capitalized. And you can provide a word list. That word list can have whatever gibberish or, or directory list or username list that you want to provide. And WFuzz will quickly send repeated requests over and have the unique responses stand out to you. So it's just another way to send over input and see how the API reacts to it, which could lead you to finding vulnerabilities and later exploitation. What I really love about the book, though, is that you, like you've said earlier, you're not just teaching us the theory of this, you're actually showing us how to do it. Are there any other tools that you have that you want to highlight? Another tool that I do highlight in the discovery section is OWASP Mass. Really great tool for performing that initial reconnaissance. And the other cool thing I liked about that tool is to make it work well, you have to plug in a bunch of API keys into it. So it's sort of a win-win there. One, you get to perform great reconnaissance. And two, you get to build the tool into this better thing by creating free accounts and plugging in uh, API keys. You're one step ahead because my next question was like, okay, uh, how do I find the APIs? And you've got a whole section on reconnaissance, is that right? I have a whole section that uh, it's called Discovering APIs, and it goes over the passive and active techniques to finding the APIs. A lot of APIs were meant to be found. Filter your web traffic through a proxy and view the requests that are made. You can see the API calls that are going on in the background of just loading a simple page. Um, so that could be step one in finding an API, is just using a web application, proxying the traffic, and seeing what's going on there. The public APIs that are meant to be found are often advertised. And so there's a big, well, maybe not big, but there's a small API button at the bottom of the page that will guide you to the documentation and the instructions for how to use the API. So those were meant for public consumption. In all other cases, maybe it's a partner API or a private API, uh, maybe it wasn't meant to be found. Maybe it was just uh, meant to facilitate some of the requests that go on in the background of the web application. And so in those instances, you can use uh, the dev tools and you can see that API requests are going on in the background. You can use uh, Burp Suite uh, or another man in the middle proxy tool to see the requests that are being made and uh, filter out the API requests.